Hey guys, I am Ken Ross here, and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today I have a quick question for you. How reactive is your business? Are you always pivoting when your, your clients or your competition innovates in some way? Are you the type of business owner who doesn't have time to really get ahead of things? Well, I would really challenge you um, as you go forward in, in uh, your business to think about being proactive. I actually um, post a link to this article I read out of Forbes from last year that talks about being proactive in business, but ultimately the reason you want to be proactive is so that you can deal with the ever-changing climates. Today is no exception, right? With the war in the Ukraine and, and Russia and how, how big that is and how that's affected the markets as well as you know what political landscapes uh, offer you you have to be able to pivot your business and that means you have to be proactive in things that are very important to you and that's why I'm here that's one of the reasons why I do the things that I do because I really do believe that businesses overpay for things and that overpayment puts them at a disadvantage they're not proactive they're not trying to get ahead of their business expenses. They're just trying to make sure that they continue to have the services that they need to continue to operate their business efficiently. And I'm certainly uh, well aware and certainly thinking to myself, hey, if I was a business owner, I don't think that that would be something I could get ahead of or that I would have to worry so much about when it comes to my operating my business. And what I would much rather prefer is to actually stick to what I'm passionate about. And I don't, I don't, blame you for that. I really do think that most business owners are passionate about the product or the service that they're offering uh, their clients and they want to deliver the best product or service that they have. And my, my goal is to partner with you and to be that person who can be proactive enough to say, hey, look, I want you to focus on those things. I want you to be proactive in the things that I know will help you innovate and, and, and be ahead of the competition or at least compete with your competition because depending on what area of, of expertise you're in, it all really is going to come down to the level of service or the level of care you can provide in that space. That's what's going to set you apart. That's what sets great companies like Apple apart from its competitors. That's what makes Walmart such a great place to go to versus you know, some mom and pop shop, shop. That's why mom and pop shops really have to work hard to deliver a good product because they can't compete on price, but they can certainly compete on experience. They can certainly provide better quality. And those are things that as a business, you need to really understand and want to be proactive on because if, if the climate ever changes and, and we certainly live in a society today where the climate is ever changing, you need to be able to pivot your business. You need to be able to put some investment some time, some energy, some money, whatever it is, in the next thing. And so being set up as a proactive company, a company that doesn't just react to every little thing, will, will definitely put you in a better place. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. That's what I have today. Uh, would love it if you could like or subscribe to this channel or, or send this video to somebody that you know in business. Help them understand that we're out to have a good discussion here and really understand and get the heart of the matter of what is important in business. And I believe being proactive is one of those things. So please connect with me. Would love to hear your comments down below. Would love if you'd subscribe to my channel. And that's what I have today. So I am Ken Ross. Please visit my website. I am KenRoss.com. And until next time, I'll see you around.